Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. Today we are at Value Village and I actually want to thrift for 90s Versace. So I checked out their 1992 fall ready to wear collection and I've picked out a few of the details and looks that I think are really cute and that I really want to try to like thrift similar items. There's a lot of puffer and leather and black and gold and like big button details. There's also some really cute Western wear and I would love to find some of that. So let's go inside. So I started the jackets just looking for anything leather or more trimmed. This is very cute, but I do have something similar to it. One thing I also noticed was there was a lot of puffer jackets. Um, this was made in Canada, so it's kind of cool, but I don't really love the style. I also really like this light green coat with like the Sherpa lining. It's very interesting. You know what? I don't think I'm going to get it. I also want to stop by and find some tall boots. Oh my goodness, the little high heels of Lauren. They're so cute. And there's also little gold accents on them. These are very, very cool. They are way too tight, that's unfortunate. So I am in the scarves and I want to find some pretty patterned scarves. Holy cow, I just found an Yves Saint Laurent scarf. I'm so happy about this. I've never actually found something designer. I just found this colorful mohair scarf made in Scotland. So there are a lot of trench coats in this collection. So I'm gonna see if I can find like a leather one or just like a long like cotton one or something. This one is gorgeous. It's cashmere, wool, and cotton. I love this leather coat, it's vintage Sears, it's so cool. I am devastated that this vintage coat is missing its third button, it's so cute. Look at this gorgeous vintage coat, it's mohair and wool. If it fits me, I'm totally getting it. That looks really good. Oh, thanks! <laughs> it's a little big, but <laughs> thanks. There's also this beautiful small coat that was actually the largest, so I feel like someone was hiding it. The brand is Hannah Hill and it is wool and cashmere. I think it is so cute. This one is very, very tight. I'm gonna go check out the accessories now. This is genuine eel skin. I don't think they realized it. This bag was just chilling on the floor here, but it was made in Italy and it is really nice leather. My cart is already really full, but we were to check out the blazers and the skirts to find some kind of like suit set or like a western suit set. This feels so 90s. It was made in the US and it's 100% wool. I also love the green color and the big buttons. So I checked out the blazers, the vests, and the skirts, and I didn't find any sets, so unfortunately, but I'm gonna check out the pants. And I'm looking specifically for leather pants. So there are these really weird Le Chateau pants that were made in Canada, and they kind of look leather. Um, I'm a little, I'm intrigued by them. I'm just in the dresses and they had a lot of like bandage dresses and I didn't really like them. So I'm just gonna check out things with like gold hardware. So first, this dress really goes with the theme of like the gold hardware. It doesn't feel very breathable. So I'm not a fan of it, but I really like this long black and white one. I think it is so cute. It's also made in the US. You guys, this dress is perfect. I actually like the straps and I like the hardware. It's also vintage. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, this Ralph Lauren dress is stunning. Another 
gorgeous dress. It has like a deep V and cute little hardware right here. It's handmade, I think. I can't really find any info on it, but it's really well made too. Like there's French seams. It's almost a must buy. I also want to look for a white belt. Oh my god, I also found an Yves Saint Laurent belt. Okay, I saved the tops for last, but we actually have a very full cart. <laughs> This is made in Italy and it feels like world, but it just has some holes. I have a lot of decisions to make. I got so much stuff and it's all so good too. I also had a 50% off coupon, so I am pretty excited. I'll see you guys at the try on haul. Okay, so we are back. I am still sick, but we are going to get through this. This is honestly my biggest haul ever and honestly probably one of my best hauls too. I got so many good things. This is going to be in no particular order, so let's just get into it. Starting off, I got this long black coat. It is made of 70% wool, 20% nylon, and 10% cashmere. It's absolutely gorgeous, and one of the cool things is it was actually made in Ukraine. This coat fits me so well, and just for that reason alone, I was like, I have to get it. But I did find a lot of beautiful long black coats in the 1992 collection um, and I also found a couple coats with fur trimming so I thought this was absolutely perfect it's also really warm and chic I love it and I will be wearing it a ton I will especially be wearing it a lot with this next item, which is this mink hat. It's made of mink tails, which I know feels kind of cruel. The brand is Boutique Kate's Canada, and it was made in Canada, and it's just a bunch of little mink tails. I am not sure how to clean this. You guys are going to have to tell me, but I think it looks really awesome with the coat I thrifted, and I've been wanting to find a hat like this. And even though hats are kind of missing from this collection, there were a few fur details, so I thought it worked, and I just find it really interesting. I don't know. I think it's a really cool piece. There was also a lot of fit and flare dresses and like skater skirts that were fit and flare along with a lot of hardware and so I found this pink dress I think it's absolutely adorable it has this cool little like brooch in the middle along the umpire waist I think someone might have handmade it but they did a very very good job I love the color I'm not sure where I'm gonna wear it but I'm excited to wear it somewhere I just thought it was a really special piece that really fit our theme so I had to get it Next up, I got another coat. It is this cream mohair coat. The brand is Doraz, and it was made in Canada, I believe. It is 70% wool, 24% mohair, and 6% polyamide. I love the color, I love the feel of the fabric, and these buttons look really high quality, and they're just a really cool shape. It is big on me, unfortunately, but I still had to get it. I don't know why, it was just so cute. There were a couple of white coats in the collection, but none of them like this, and honestly, I like this coat better than the ones in the collection. I think this would look great dressed up, dressed down. It's really versatile, um, and I think it's just a really beautiful vintage piece. The next piece I got is another dress, and it is this white Ralph Lauren dress. I thought the silhouette was beautiful. It has this drop waist down here, and it's knit all the way through, which I love knit dresses. I don't know. I just thought it was really gorgeous. Um, there were a couple of white dresses, nothing like this necessarily. I would love to wear tall boots with this or layer some kind of turtleneck underneath it. I think there's just a lot of outfit potential with this dress, and I also like that it was Ralph Lauren, so I'm really happy that I got it. Next up, I got this little yellow light jacket. Yellow was a big color in this collection. There was a lot of different pieces that were this kind of a yellow. Um, so I was excited to find it. The brand is Republic Blues and it was made in Canada. Um, it's 100% cotton and I just think it has a really interesting waffle knit to it. And I love these buttons in the front. It is just really unique and I thought the details would elevate a nice casual outfit. It's also extremely soft and comfortable. So I'm really glad that I got it as well. 
The next dress that I got, I was actually choosing between two different dresses, but I landed on this long black and white one. The brand is Nick and Nash, which I don't think is a really special brand, but it was made in the US, so I think that's kind of interesting. The black and the long silhouette feels very 90s, and I also love this wide white stripe at the bottom. I would wear this with some kind of wide belt, and there were a couple of long dresses and long skirts with white shirts that I thought had a kind of similar vibe to them, and I was between this and that purple short dress with the hardware right here, which I was really sad to let go but I thought honestly this is more me I'm gonna wear this more often Moving on to the rest of the accessories, you guys saw how lucky I was in the accessories. Um, some of them aren't necessarily part of the theme, but they're really, really good. First off, I found this mohair scarf. This is beautiful. It looks like it was the original design of all those bright plaid scarves people were making last year and even this year. It's from the brand Craig Nakredish. It's 75% mohair, 21% wool, and 4% nylon, and it was made in Scotland. I love the colors. I love the look of the fabric. There were a lot of bright scarves in the collection, but they are more like silk scarves, but I really couldn't pass this up. I had to get it. The next scarf I got is an Yves Saint Laurent scarf. I really couldn't believe it when I saw it. I've never found a real designer piece at the thrift store, and so I was really excited to find this one because their scarves are like $600 new. This one is actually vintage though. It was made in West Germany. I think the dark colors on it are very chic, very fall-like. I was really surprised to see it. I think it's gorgeous, and it's also 100% wool. I also found an Yves Saint Laurent belt. I was really surprised when I found this. I think someone must have donated a lot of their stuff. Leather was also a big part of this collection, but it was more black leather, as well as the gold hardware. There's also this tiny little YSL engraving on the buckle. Next up, they didn't have purses in the collection that I noticed, but I found this black and gold purse that I thought went really good with the collection because they had so much black leather and so much gold. It's actually eel skin, which is really interesting. Apparently eel was really big in the 90s. This is from the brand Elegance. I will be wearing it a lot. I feel like it'll go with the black coat that I got. And lastly, I got another scarf, and it is this wool striped scarf. I got it because number one, the wool is so thick and warm, and number two, it was actually made in Iceland, which I thought was really bizarre. I don't have anything made in Iceland, so I thought it was a really special piece, and I just loved the colors. It doesn't really go with our theme, but again, I couldn't pass it up. So that was everything that I got and I know it was a lot. Let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below. If I had to choose a favorite piece, I have no idea what it would be off the top of my head. <sighs> But again, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I have an Instagram now. You do see some sneak peeks of some of the things that I thrift and just a little bit more about me. So I will leave the link to that in the description box below. But anyways, if you liked this video, leave a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Bye.